If you had told me day one of Apex that Gibraltar would be one of the most overpowered characters in the game, I would have laughed in your face, then B-Hop healed away. But for the last couple seasons, Daddy Gibby has been one of the major contenders for best legend in the game. But a lot of people want to know, how exactly do I play him? We'll roll the intro and let's get into it. Before anything else happens, I just want to get one thing clear and straightforward. I will not be calling him Jibby. I will be calling him Gibby. It's not short for Gibraltar. We call him Gibby to honor this king. Oh yeah. Gibby! Gibby! Now that we have that out of the way, I just want to say if you guys enjoy my content, please give it a like. The more likes on the video, the more YouTube recommends it. The more it gets recommended, the more I can grow and bring content to others. If you really enjoy the video and want to help out the channel, please consider subscribing. I do content pretty often, including tip videos, full gameplay, and even streams. I have swapped from Twitch to YouTube for my streaming content and would love to see some new faces there. But enough self-promotion, let's get into the tips. Gibby is one of the best legends, if not the best in Season 7, solely off of his kit being able to stop third parties so easily. But let's take a deep dive into his abilities and go over exactly what he does. Starting off with the passive gun shield. What this is is a big shield that covers roughly his entire torso when put up. It's put up whenever he aims down sights. This ability makes 1v1s in trading favor heavily on your side. The shield takes up to 50 damage and doesn't allow bleed through. You should always be looking to use your gun shield in situations where you are poking or straight up fighting. If you're trying to hide though, I would hide the gun shield. This can make Gibraltar easily seen. And being that big, you want to use everything to your advantage to stay hidden. Next up, we have his tactical, Dome of Protection. This ability is what makes Gibraltar so amazing in the current meta. This is a dome where you can throw it down to create an indestructible cover that lasts 12 seconds for your team. Not only does it provide cover, but it also has a fast res for Gibraltar and fast healing for everybody inside the bubble. This ability has so many different ways to be used. If you want to push a building, but a team is inside it shooting at you, throw the bubble in front of you and use it to siege spots. It makes it so that they either have to challenge the bubble or allow you to push for free, putting them into a hard spot and potentially making them panic, allowing you to pick one off and win the fight. If you are rotating and get caught out in the open, you can throw the bubble down, have your wraith portal you out to safety, allowing your team to get away relatively free. If in a fight and you get third party, you can use the bubble to make it harder for you to be pushed, allowing you and your team to heal with the fast healing and reset for the next fight. Or even if a death box is in the open and you need something out of it, you can put the bubble over the box and loot for free. There are so many ways that this ability can benefit you and your team, so don't be afraid to use it on cooldown. If you feel like you need to throw it out, then do. You can always hang back and wait for the bubble to come off of cooldown. And last up, we have Defensive Bombardment, Gibby's Ultimate. This is a little underwhelming of an ability at face value, small circle, easily dodged, stuff like that. But when you really get into the applications of this ability, you start to see the uses it brings. For starters, if you are in a building and there's a team above you, you can throw your ultimate on the ground and force the team off the roof, allowing you and your team to take height after the ultimate duration is done. You can also use it to cut teams off rotation in fights, you can use it to deny LOS on fights, and you can use it to deny third parties allowing you to heal and reset fights. It really is a useful ability, you just have to know when to use it. The sad part is though, I can't really teach game knowledge. You you just have to start feeling it in the game. Throw it out when you think you need it. If it turns out to be a good thing, remember that. If it turns out to be a bad thing, remember that and learn from it as well. The drawback to this ability though is how long it takes to charge. I don't have much footage of me using the ult because I only got about one a game with how long it takes to charge up. So you have to be a little bit careful when you're using it or carry a bunch of ultimate accelerants. Mindset is a very important thing in Apex. This is what determines your personal playstyle. Playing this character, you have to remember that he is one dummy thick boy and people can shoot you very easily. You should be looking to stick onto one teammate almost constantly. That allows you to both support each other if an enemy player rushes you. Even though Gibraltar is really good in 1v1s, you need to be looking out for your team as well. While Gibby does have Fortify and takes less damage, he shouldn't be a frontliner. You should always be looking to be second or third into a fight. Let your Wraith do her thing being entry frag and let her take aggro. Then you and your other teammate can come in and clean up what they've left behind and support where it need be. Unless you have to, you should never run away from your team in fights. Gibby is slow and chonky. Other teams can easily solo you out and get an easy knock, potentially using your team to fight. Despite what some people might think, certain legends should only run certain guns. Gibby should almost always have a shotgun. Bubble fighting is huge and you need that close range thump to contest people pushing your safe space. If a random wants to jump into the bubble, you should have that no-no stick in the form of a master to the face to let them know that they messed up. As for your secondary gun, I myself like to use the 301. It's super versatile and is good long range, medium range, and close range. But I know other pros such as iShiny enjoy running the charge rifle or another sniper rifle. But your secondary should always be something for distance to be able to support your team. Now I know a lot of people do enjoy being aggressive with their legend, and I do too. 
That's why my main is usually Bloodhound. But don't count Gibby out just yet. If you want to play more aggressive and go for high kill games, you should be looking to use your bubble to siege players easier. Throwing it as far as you can in front of you and using that to push teams for free is something you'll need to start to learn to do. It gets you up close and personal into fights without taking as much damage as you normally would. Also knowing what you can and can't get out of. What I mean by that is when you dive into a fight, know where the nearest safe spot is in case of a third party or the team with higher health and you can't kill them as fast as you thought. This will take time and practice, but always be looking out for where you can improve. But there you have it, a guide on Gibraltar. I hope this helped you out, and if it did, again, please leave a like on this video. It really does help the channel out. If you want to stay up to date on future guides coming out, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well, and maybe join my Discord. The link is in the description below. My Discord has channels where you can find people to play with, some idle games, and you get the announcements of anything that I do first. If you have any questions or want to know more about anything I said in this video, please leave a comment or stop by one of my streams. It's normally better if I can show you how to do things in game in real time rather than telling you over a comment. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the guide. Now go out there and start slaying.